with you in BC Recreation. If you are unfamiliar with vinyasa style yoga, it's a flow-like sequence that ties the movement in with our breath. We use our breath and we bring the focus back to our breath a lot during this practice. If you are not familiar with yoga in any sense or any style, that is okay. This class is beginner friendly in the sense that I won't just call names out of poses and expect you to know where I'm headed. I will build us up into a pose, get you where you needed to go, talk about alignment, especially our first few times through the pose. I wanna remind everyone through this practice, listen to your body, take breaks if you need. You can always jump back in when you're ready and always check with your doctor before you start a new exercise plan. I do wanna mention if this is your first time in a yoga class that we finish our practice in a final rest period where we lay flat on our back with our eyes closed. We try to remain still for about two to three minutes. It can feel like an eternity, especially if it's your first time through, but yoga is not just about what we do in our physical body. It's also about what goes on in the inside and our thoughts as well. So that point of the practice is to absorb the movements we put through our body, let it work on our body systems while we have time to reflect. Um, I think that's all I have to say before we get started today. We're going to lay down flat on our backs to start my favorite way to start. Feet are facing the front of the mat, knees are bent, feet planted. Place your hands on the back side of your thighs. Easiest way to help you guide yourself down until back is flat on the mat. Once you're there, separate your feet to mat with distance apart. Let the knees fall together and place your arms alongside with your body, palms face up. And just as I promised, bring your focus to your breath to start the class. Don't change the pattern of your breath just yet. Just notice how deep or shallow the breath is. Gently tuck your chin in towards your chest. Help lengthen the neck. Wiggle your shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale out through your mouth, hang heavy onto the floor. A few more rounds of breath here. We're going to do a lot of heart opening today. If you familiarize yourself with the heart chakra, it helps us better receive and give love to ourselves and others. If you're more interested in a pure physical sense, we're going to help improve our posture and increase our energy. Separate your knees, stacking them over the ankles. Ankles are in line with the hips. Draw your right knee in towards your chest, taking these fingers, pointer and middle finger, wrap around the big toe, and extend the leg up to the ceiling into a reclined leg stretch. Press actively out through the heel. Knee does not need to straighten completely. So extend the leg and up until you feel sensation on the back side of your thigh, whether the leg is straight or not. Low back stays pressed to the mat. Take another breath or two here. Bend the right knee into one-legged happy baby. Knee draws down towards the outside of the armpit. Ankle stays in line with the knee as foot flexes. Opening up and engaging the hip here. Extend the leg back up towards the ceiling, then return your foot to the mat, letting go of the toes. Arms are at your sides. Left knee draws into the chest, peace fingers wrap around the big toe. As you exhale, extend the leg up towards the ceiling, pressing out through the heel. And being on our back helps us focus on our breath. I think so anyway. Don't have to worry about balancing or anything else. Just feeling the activation of the left leg. Then bending the knee into one leg, happy baby. 
ankle in line with the knee. Leg extends back towards the ceiling, then release your grip, returning foot to the mat. Draw your right knee in towards the chest, interlacing the fingers, holding below the knee into Apanasana. Left leg extends onto the mat, both feet are flexed. As you inhale, draw the breath into the belly, filling it like a balloon. As you exhale, draw the thigh closer to body. Switching sides, drawing left knee in, extending the opposite. Feet are flexed. The extended leg is pressing gently in towards the leg, keeping, or into the mat, I'm sorry, keeping the leg engaged. Release the left leg, returning it to the mat. Hands stay interlaced. Draw both knees in towards the chest, feet side by side, hands hold below the knees, thighs drawing close to the body once again. Relieving tension in the low back here. Chin is still gently tucked in towards the chest. Nice and slowly roll all the way over to one side of your body, doesn't matter which, whatever comes first. And gently press yourself up into a seated position, turning to face the front of your mat. Any comfortable seated position will do, legs can be crossed, but if that's not quite comfortable for you, maybe a loose diamond shape would be better with the bottoms of the feet touching. However, you can sit with your sits bones grounded into the floor and find length through your spine. Start with your hands at your sides, fingertips to floor. Bring the right arm up towards the ceiling, reaching through the tips of the fingers. Engage your core, drawing belly back towards the spine and fall into a side bend over to the left. Keeping length on both sides of the body, being careful not to crunch into the left side. Still reaching actively out through right fingertips, pressing sits bones into the floor. Slowly lift the arm back up to the ceiling and then lower it to shoulder height with thumb face up towards the ceiling, palm face forward. Again, bring that arm back up to the ceiling and then bend at the elbow, palm facing the small of the back. Opening the chest, elbow up towards the ceiling, lengthen the spine, core is engaged. Loosening up the shoulders as well. Bring your opposite arm up to shoulder height. Turn the thumb face down towards the floor. Bend the elbow, bringing it behind the back, back of the hand to the back. This elbow facing down towards the floor. We're holding here. I'll turn around so you can take a look if you need to. There's no need to reach for the hands, but if you have the open in the chest and the shoulders, you can reach hands together Grab onto fingertips. Gently release by bringing both arms out to shoulder height and lowering the fingers down towards the floor. Roll the shoulders a little bit one direction and then the other. Find some stillness. Bring your left arm up to the ceiling, reach through the tips of the fingers. Give me a side bend over to the right and hold here. Engage your core, lift chin from chest. Breathe into the chest. Rise out of the side bend and lower the raised arm to shoulder height, thumb face up towards the ceiling. Bring that arm back up. Bend the elbow, palm facing the small of the back, or I'm sorry, the back. <laughs> Opposite arm lifts to shoulder height. Turn the palm or the thumb down towards the floor, excuse me. Bend the elbow, bringing it behind the back, holding here. 
grabbing hands if you were able to do so on the opposite side. And bring just the right fingertips down to the floor and give a little more time opening left shoulder, keeping that elbow up towards the ceiling. Release, bringing both arms to shoulder height, lower fingertips down towards the floor. Round the spine, drop chin to chest. Lift and arch the spine, tilting head up to ceiling. Keep repeating this movement at your own pace, rounding and lifting the spine. We'll stick with this for another couple of breaths. Inhale as you lift and arch and exhale as you round. Slow down your movement until you find stillness. Walk forward into a tabletop position, hands and wrists stacked under the shoulders, knees stacked under the hips, spread the fingers nice and wide. Lift up to the tips of the fingers and step your right foot into a lunge position, ankle below the knee, foot in between the hands. Top of the left foot to the mat. Draw breath in through the nose as you slowly lift both arms overhead. Thighs are energetically drawing towards one another to help with balance. Exhale out through the mouth, lowering fingertips to the floor. Try to move nice and slow and draw the breath out. Next inhale, lifts the right arm up to the ceiling, gazes up, belly draws in. Exhale, out through the mouth, fingertips return to the floor. One last deep breath in through the nose, lifting both arms back overhead. Nice deep breath, slow movement. Exhale, out through the mouth, fingertips to the floor. Extend your right leg long behind you, point through the toes, keep that leg active, stretching front of thigh, then return to tabletop, knee to mat. Step the left foot into a lunge position, ankle below the knee. Draw the breath in through the nose as you lift both arms slowly overhead, deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, left arm up to the ceiling, gaze is up, belly in. Exhale, fingertips to floor. Breath in, both arms return overhead, nice slow movement, deep breath. Exhale, fingertips to floor. Extend the forward leg long behind you, point through the toes and return to tabletop. Settle into child's pose, hips all the way down to heels, forehead to mat, arms extended down the length of the mat. Big toes touch, but separate the knees enough to make some space for your belly. If this is uncomfortable on your knees or your hips, try staying up on the knees, elbows to mat, and puppy pose instead. More than welcome to take either variation for your rest position throughout the class. And we'll finish our warm up here, deepening our breath just a little bit, bringing our focus back to our breath, taking a mental note of how we feel in our body. There is no right or wrong answer, it's just about being present in the moment, having a little self recognition, learning to listen to your body. Follow the pattern of your breath. On your next inhale, meet me in a tabletop position, hands in the knees and tuck your toes onto mat, preparing for our first down dog. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Start by lifting just the knees off the mat. We're gonna move in pieces. Nice and slow to keep some of the weight in your hands. Start to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Nice and slow like you're moving in slow motion. Knees are staying bent, but belly's pressing back towards the thighs. Hips are still reaching towards the ceiling. Make sure that weight stays in some of the hands. 
beautiful way, hands and feet. Pressing firmly into pointer finger and the thumb, hollowing the armpits, gazing between the feet. Keeping the knees bent for now, especially if you're unfamiliar with the pose. And deepening the breath. Look forward, start to shift your weight forward and draw your right knee in towards your chest, stepping or placing your foot into lunge. Lifting up to tips of fingers and sending chest forward, knee is stacked right over the ankle. Step up to half lift, left foot steps up to the top of the mat, hands to shins, back is flat, gaze is down towards the floor, hold it here. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, engage your core, pressing it in towards the spine. Find length from the tailbone out through the crown of the head, gazes down towards the floor, tiny micro bend in the knee. Body is engaged. Slowly lower to forward fold, gently bend the knees so belly can make contact with thighs. Extend the crown of the head towards the floor, let the arms hang heavy. Low belly stays engaged, drawing in. Shake the head a few times, yes and no. Keep legs engaged by hips actively reaching towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and one vertebrae at a time. Start to round your spine up to a standing position. Taking your time, feeling all the muscles required to get you standing upright. Let your chin come up from your chest last. Give me a deep breath in through your nose, lifting arms out of your sides, up overhead, gaze is up overhead. Exhale, hands together, down through heart center, gaze down towards the floor. Take a breath or two here. Extend both arms back overhead, gaze up to ceiling, separate the hands. And lower back to forward fold, hands lower down through heart center, hinging forward at the hips, gently bending knees, dropping belly to thighs, arms and head hang. Rise to half lift, flattening the back, hands to shins. Step your right foot back into a lunge position, bringing fingertips to floor, left knee is stacked right over the ankle, core is engaged. Lower right knee down to the mat and uncurl the toes, top of foot to mat. Deep breath in through the nose, lift both arms overhead. Exhale out through the mouth, lowering fingertips to floor. Step back into a tabletop position on your hands and your knees. Lean forward, chaturanga, until shoulders are past the wrist. Bend the elbows, keeping them close to the body, lowering chest down to mat, then bringing hips down to mat, tops of feet to floor. Elbows point up towards the ceiling, press hip points into mat as you lift the chest into baby cobra and press into your rest position, whether that's child's pose, hips to heels, or puppy variation, knees and elbows to mat. Focus comes back to the breath each time in your rest position. Inhale as you rise back to tabletop and prepare for down dog by tucking toes onto the mat, spreading fingers nice and wide. Again, like we're moving in slow motion, keep the body engaged. Lift the knees off the mat, draw belly into spine. Send the hips up towards the ceiling as you slowly press belly back towards the thighs, gazing in between the feet. Breathing here. If you'd like a little more sensation in the legs, try straightening one leg and pressing the heel towards the floor. Then switching and doing the same with the other. You're welcome to play here through the rest of the class or maybe keep knees bent. There's no need to take it further if you're not comfortable. Gaze forward, send the weight forward, draw left knee in towards the chest and step foot into lunge, lifting up to tips of fingers. You can place the foot in lunge if you need. Step up to half lift, right foot steps up, flatten back, hands to shins. Lower to forward fold, belly meets the thighs. Tuck chin into chest and round the spine nice and slowly up to standing. 
Once you're up, deep breath in through the nose, arms out at your sides, up overhead. Exhale, hands together, down through heart center. Hold here, lowering your gaze down towards the floor. Take a breath or two. Extend both arms back overhead, separating the hands, and return to forward fold. Belly meets the thighs, crown of head reaches to floor. Rise half lift, flat in your back. Step your left foot back into a lunge position, fingertips to floor, knee lowers to mat, toes uncurl. Deep breath in through the nose as you lift both arms overhead. Exhale out through mouth, returning fingertips to floor. Step back into tabletop hands and the knees. Lean forward, chaturanga, shoulders past the wrists, bend the elbows, keep them close to body, chest comes down, hips come down. Draw the belly in towards the spine, lift chest off mat, shoulders wrap behind the heart, then press into your rest position, child's pose or puppy pose and focus comes back to the breath. Inhale as you return to tabletop, spread the fingers nice and wide, tuck toes onto the mat. On your next exhale, find downward facing dog, hips lift up towards the ceiling. Slight outer rotation of the upper arms here. Total body stretch. Look forward and step or place your right foot into lunge. Lift up to tips of fingers. Step up to half lift, hands to shins. Lower forward fold, belly to thighs. Round the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Back to your standing position. Once you make it to standing, inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, arms to goddess arms, bending the elbows in line with the shoulders, opening the front of the chest, palms face forward. Hold here. Tailbone might find the urge to lift up towards the ceiling, but resist that. Tuck the tailbone under, send it long to the floor, and let all the opening come from the front of the chest. Core is engaged. Next, inhale, straightens the arms overhead. Exhale, lower back to forward fold. Take your time. Inhale, half lift. On your exhale, step your right foot back into a lunge position, fingertips to mat. Bring your hands to your forward thigh and extend the arms overhead into high lunge. Hips are squared towards the front of the mat. Left knee is stacked right over the ankle. We're holding here, not holding the breath. Open to warrior two, facing the right side of your mat. Right heel rotates down, makes contact with the floor, arms lower to shoulder height, gaze is out over left middle finger. Left knee tracks towards the pinky toe. Press firmly into the pinky edge of your right foot. Hips and shoulders are facing the long edge of your mat. We're opening our hips. We're strengthening our legs, strengthening our arms. Bring your hands to your hips and straighten the forward leg. Turn the toes so they're also facing the long edge of the mat and stand nice and tall. Adjust your feet so that you can root your feet firmly down to the mat, pressing into the inner and outer ball and inner and outer heel. And again, tuck the tailbone under, remove the curve from the low back. Find length through the sides of the body and engage your core. Hinge forward at the hips, pausing halfway, chest about parallel to floor, then bend the elbows, facing them up towards the ceiling. Don't lock out the knees, put tiny micro bends in them and send the weight towards the balls of the feet. We're gonna stay here. If you'd like to take it further and add the fold, you're still hinging at the hips, sending chest down towards the floor, elbows still pointing up towards the ceiling, as if you want them to touch behind you, opening the chest. If it's hard to balance, fingertips can come to the floor, that's okay. Still getting lengthening in the spine, lengthening in the hamstrings. 
Everyone remove hands to hips, bringing them to the floor if they're not there already. Left foot turns towards the front of the mat, walk the hands back to lunge, right heel lifts off the mat, left knee stacked over the ankle. Step back into a plank position, drop the knees to tabletop. Lean forward, chaturanga shoulders past the wrist, lower all the way down, keeping elbows close to the body. Deep breath in, baby cobra, chest lifts off the mat. Exhale to your chosen rest position and take a breath or two here. More than a breath or two, a few breaths here. Deepen a few of those breaths, just a bit, filling the back side of the body, the sides of the body. And doing another mental check-in, taking note of what you feel in your body and the thoughts in your mind. On your next inhale, return to tabletop. Use your next exhale to downward facing dog, sit up to the ceiling. So I know down dog is a lot, especially if this is your first couple times practicing, you're more than welcome to skip a down dog, stay in your rest position, and then hop back in as we're making our way back to standing. It's okay. Even I don't like to do a thousand down dogs, and I've been practicing for quite some time. Everyone look forward, shift the weight forward, step left foot into lunge, lift up to tips of fingers. Draw breath in as you rise, half lift, flatten back. Exhale, forward fold, belly to thighs. See if you can draw your inhale out as you slowly rise to standing, then exhale at the top. If you can't draw the breath out, just breathe normally. I prefer you didn't hold your breath. On the inhale, arms lift overhead. On the exhale, elbows get bend, goddess arms. Elbows in line with shoulders, open the front of the chest, gaze is slightly up towards the ceiling. Deep breaths here, core is engaged. Next inhale, straightens arms overhead. Exhale, lowers you to forward fold. Inhale, half lift. On your exhale, step your left foot back into lunge. Right knee is stacked over the ankle. Hands come to the thigh, extend the arms overhead, high lunge, hold here, hips square to the front. Open to warrior two, facing the left side of your mat, left heel down, arms at shoulder height. Hips and shoulders face long edge of the mat. Gaze is out over right hand. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten the forward leg and turn the right foot to face long edge of the mat. Plant your feet nice and firmly, find length out through the spine, engage your core. Hinge forward from the hips, this time bringing fingertips down to the floor. Bend the knees if you need to, to make that happen. We're gonna take peace fingers wrapped around the big toes. You can hold here, lengthening the spine, sending weight into balls of feet. Or add the fold, taking it a step further, hinging forward at the hips, reaching crown of head to floor, bending elbows out to the side like elephant ears. Holding here as we open the front of the chest, the collarbones, the shoulder blades. Nice deep breaths. Knees can be bent if the hamstrings are tight. Head hangs heavy. Release the grip on your toes and bring your fingers beneath the face, lengthening the spine, sending chest forward. Walking into lunge, right toes face forward, left heel lifts off the mat. Stepping back into a plank position and dropping the knees to tabletop. Lean forward, chaturanga, lower all the way down. Nice, slow, controlled. Deep breath into baby cobra, chest lifts off the mat. Exhale to your rest position, taking a few rounds of breath here. Inhale, 
inhale as you rise to half lift and exhale to downward facing dog. Give me a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth with a sigh. Step your right foot in to lunge. Inhale as you step up to half lift. Exhale as you lower forward fold. Try to draw the inhale out as you slowly rise to standing. And exhale at the top. We're going to move into some balancing poses. We've done a lot of heart opening, so we're going to take a dancer today. Start with all of your weight in your left leg. Lift those toes up off the ground, spread them wide and plant them. Imagine you have roots growing out of the bottom of your left foot. Tiny micro bend in left leg. Don't lock out the standing leg. Start by lifting the left arm up towards the ceiling. Bending the right knee, reaching down, taking a hold of the foot from the outside. Let's do the inside today. Drawing the knees close together. And we start here by opening the chest, shoulder blades behind the heart, engaging the core and gently kicking into the hand. We're gaining strength here. If you wanna take it further, you can begin to fall forward, keep kicking into the hand, keep lifting the chest, gaze is up towards the ceiling and we're holding here. If you're like, what the heck? And you're struggling standing on one leg, that's okay. You can work just lowering the right toes down to the mat and bringing the toes back to hand. Right here. Whatever you're doing, you're not holding the breath, you're deepening the breath. If you fell forward, go ahead and rise right back up to standing and we'll all lower our leg and our arm back down at our sides. Bend the knees, give that standing leg a break. We did a lot of strengthening on that side. If you find yourself falling out of the pose, that's okay. You know that you're working on your balance. Just hop back in for the duration of the pose. Switching sides, all the weight is in the right foot. Lift those toes, spread them wide. Grow some roots out of that foot. Right arm extends up to the ceiling. Bend the left knee. We're taking a hold from the inside, drawing the knees close together. Engage your core, open the chest, shoulders reach to touch behind the heart, and kick into the hand. You can hold here. Or you can continue forward. Keep kicking into the hand. Don't lose the strength. Core stays engaged. You're lifting that raise or the forward arm up towards the ceiling, not holding the breath. Standing leg is not locked. We're slowly rising back up to standing if we fell forward. And then we'll all lower arm and leg down on our sides. Bend those knees once again. Deep breath in through the nose, lift arms out at your sides, up overhead. Exhale, hands together, down through heart center, gaze down towards the floor. Hold here. Feel the beat of your heart and the pace of your breath. Two more deep breaths for me, starting with arms out at your sides, deep breath in through the nose, arms lift overhead, head tilts up to ceiling. Exhale, hands together, down through heart center, chin lowers down towards the chest. Release arms down at your sides, last time, deep breath in. Exhale, this time as hands come down through heart center and chin lowers to chest, close the eyes and take a few breaths here. Relax shoulders down the back and focus on the breath. Lift your chin from chest, lower arms down at your sides and open your eyes. Again, deep breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you step back into plank. You slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Arms down along the sides of your body, palms face up to ceiling. Turn your, one, your head to one side so you can rest on your cheek. Little shoulders away from ears. Bring the 
big toes to touch, let heels fall away from one another. Help the, leave the low back. Maybe eyes close again as we take a short intermission here. Slowing down, closing the practice. Focus starts to turn inward, doing less in the physical body. Turn your head to the opposite side. Bring your chin to the mat, place hands underneath your shoulders, press into child's pose, hips to heels. As soon as the hips touch the heels, we're going to round the spine nice and slow like a wave all the way back up to tabletop. And then relax into a neutral tabletop position. Cross the ankles and send the hips down to the mat. Letting the legs come forward so you're in a seated position. But however you get there in your seated position, as long as the legs are extended forward, is fine with me. Round your sits bones into the floor, flex the feet, and extend both arms overhead. Drop chin to chest and start to round the spine into rounded back stretch, placing hands on the knees, elbows pointed out to long edges of the mat, shoulders melt away from the ears. A great counter stretch for all the heart opening we did today. Take some nice deep breaths here as we relieve any lasting tension around the spine. Slowly start to lift the spine upright, finding staff pose by placing hands on either side of the hips, continuing to find length out through the crown of the head, then relaxing back to a neutral position. Make, sit, make your way into the center of your mat in a seated position, knees bent, feet to floor. And lower down to your elbows and all the way onto your back. And once you make it flat to your back, draw both knees in towards your chest, feet side by side, interlace the fingers, hold below the knees, draw thighs close to body. Gently tuck chin in towards the chest. Maybe close the eyes if they're not closed already. Holding and remaining still here. If you feel an urge to move, you can gently rock side to side, keeping thighs glued towards the chest, just massaging the muscles on the back side of the body. Decided to rock, find stillness. Place your arms out along the floor at shoulder height, palms face up to ceiling. Knees fall into a recline spinal twist over to the right, and head turns to the left. If you feel any pinching in the low back, pinch the knees away from the arms. time you exhale, see if left shoulder can press a little more onto the mat. Getting a nice twist on our belly, stretching our core. Improving digestion.
Draw the knees to the center of the body and let them fall over to the left. And to recline, spinal twist, head turns to the right. As we prepare for our final resting pose, start to relax the muscles around the brow. Separate your upper and lower jaw and drop your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Slowly draw knees back to the center of your chest, interlacing fingers, holding below the knees. Slowly lifting your head to meet the knees. Take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it at the top. Squeeze the body nice and tight into a tiny little ball. And as you exhale out through your mouth, release the hold on your body so that you can lay flat on the mat in our final resting pose. Separating legs and arms nice and wide, taking up as much space as you can. Toes fall away from one another, palms face up to ceiling, eyes close. Taking a deep breath in through your nose. On the exhale, out through your mouth, melt the body onto the floor, let it hang heavy, let everything go. All focus comes to the breath. Each little movement the body makes as you take breath in and let breath go. Allow your breath to lead you further into relaxation. focus has wandered, bring your attention back to the breath. Follow every inhale and every exhale. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Welcome movement back to the body. And gently roll over to the right side of your body and take a moment of stillness on your side. Maybe using your arm to support your head. Keeping your eyes closed or your gaze lowered to the floor, press yourself up into any comfortable seated position. And take your time sitting up if you're not quite there, that's okay. Just keep an ear open so you know where we're going. As always, to finish class, we take three cleansing breaths together as one, breathing in through the nose, exhaling out through mouth. Today we're taking our three-part breath, breaking the inhale into three parts, filling belly, ribs, and chest. 
and breaking the exhale into three parts, exhaling chest, ribs, and belly. Let's all start on an exhale so we can breathe together, pressing all the breath out of the body. Start to breathe in through the nose, filling belly first, filling ribs, filling chest, exhale chest, ribs, and belly. Breath into the belly, ribs, chest, breath out of chest, ribs, and belly. Last time, making this your deepest breath yet, filling the belly, filling the ribs, filling up the chest, exhaling chest, ribs, and belly. Take a second to thank your body for getting you through this practice and for taking this time out of your day for this practice. I'd like to thank you for letting me lead you along. There is a light that exists within me that honors and respects the light that exists within every single one of you. Thanks so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there is a new version of this class that is aired every week. If you enjoy my teaching style, but you're looking for something a little more challenging, I do offer a choreo class, and there's a new version of that that is aired every week as well. We have lots of classes to offer, not just yoga. I hope you try them out. Follow us on YouTube, on Instagram, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks again.